Okay, today we're here to talk about diet and hydration and what it means for injury prevention and injury reduction. I'm lucky enough to have Malcolm Hatfield here today, who is one of the performance uh, dietitians at the Gold Coast Suns. And we, we are really fortunate to have Malcolm here today to talk to us a little bit about what it means in regards to fueling for performance and fueling for recovery so we can hopefully reduce our chances of getting injured. Now, Malcolm, there are a lot of, uh, I guess, controversies or misconceptions regarding nutrition and dietetics for performance and recovery. So what do you feel regarding, let's say, with game day nutrition and before games are the most important points for, yeah. for, uh, for athletes when they want to go to perform? Um, the probably two most important points that uh, we tend to focus on are, is always going to be hydration and then carbohydrates. Uh, hydration because our muscles are mostly made out of water, so any time that you're performing, you want to make sure that you're loaded up as much as possible. Um, at the same time, you don't want to be going over the top and sculling heaps of water before a game because then you know you might be wanting to go to the toilet, but there's always a risk that it'll flush through. So you end up less hydrated than you were originally. Um, and then the other part of that is carbohydrates. So the carbohydrates are the fuel that get you um, from A to B. It's what your muscles break down the quickest to turn into energy. Mm -hmm. And so if you're wanting to do high intensity work, um, the carbohydrates your foundation. So making sure that you have adequate um, loading of that and that your muscles are really topped up uh, is essential to game day performance. Yeah, excellent. Now this video uh, forms part of a series that we're doing as part of the Touch Time Injury Reduction Program with the Gold Coast Touch Association. Yeah. One thing's regarding touch football uh, is particularly they perform a lot in the heat and then they yeah. often do these large carnivals where they're playing games back to back to back. Yeah. Can you comment around some of the aspects around those yeah. kind of things? So um, again, key to that is hydration, especially in the heat. Um, hydration helps you uh, maintain your temperature levels so obviously you're producing sweat which is your main uh, source of loss of hydration so making sure that you're staying on top of that as much as possible um, with that the ideal way to aim would be around two, you'd want less than two percent weight loss so if you're 80 kilos you wouldn't want to dip below 78.5 because then we know that you've lost more fluids um, which can then start impacting performance and increase your injury risk um, and then the other side with the carbohydrate, it would be just making sure that you're topping up, especially if you've got multiple games because you're using such a high load through each one and it's a high intensity sport. Um, you'd want to make sure that you're having small amounts of carbohydrate throughout the day, um, whether it's through some lollies, some sports drink, some fruit, muesli bars, anything that you can stomach because again, you don't want to be feeling sick while mm -hmm. you're playing. Um, and then just trying to keep your levels topped up throughout Otherwise, you'll start lagging to, um, towards the latter stages of the day or the competition. Yeah. We know that, as Mao has been talking about, that carbohydrates are really important, but there are people that are particularly now worried about large consumption of carbohydrates. Yep. How do, should athletes, is there a way that athletes know how much they should actually be consuming or any kind of basic principles that they should follow if they're worried about consuming too many carbohydrates? Yes. Um, so really the fear around carbohydrate I think is when you're having a lot and you're not using them there is yeah. the possibility that it could uh, turn into fat in your body because your fat in your body is excess energy storage so it's your body saving it for later but the point of having the carbohydrate for your performance is that you're going to be using it up so you need to have that load there otherwise um, you're essentially going to be trying to run your tank on empty yeah. which is exactly what you don't want when you're trying to win a game. So um, from that perspective, we say, all right, you want to start loading. Um, we'd probably be aiming for around four grams of carbohydrate per kilo um, in the lead up to any sort of um, heavy intensity session. So if that's a heavy training session or a game, that's around the point that you'd want to start. Um, that could any be anything like uh, 12 rice cakes or even three, three rows of rice crackers. Mm. Um, or a couple of jam sandwiches, um, anything like that that's going to have that fast-acting carbohydrate. The performance eating isn't always considered healthy eating. Yeah. Um, so those ideas of having to 
have certain foods to maintain your health um, get shifted because your priority does become your carbohydrate load. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I think this stuff is really important and it cannot be undervalued and it can yeah. just make a massive difference to both performance and reducing injuries and making sure you're staying fresh and recover appropriately for the for the following game. So. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Mal, for coming in. Is there anything else you want to you know, finish up on? Uh, yeah, it's just don't be afraid of your carbohydrates. Make sure you top up your fluids regularly. So don't try and scull like one to two litres of water or sports drink or whatever your choice is. Um, it's more about small sips regularly. So even if you're not feeling thirsty at the time, just having a mouthful can really make a difference in the long run. And then, yeah, just get on top of your recovery so you're fresh to train during the week. Excellent. Now we'll put some more uh, information uh, below this video about if you want to get in touch with a registered dietitian to have a chat about uh, fuel for performance or uh, sports nutrition. I think if you have some questions about those kind of things or you're having issues with weight management or feeling fatigued around your exercise sessions, then that's gonna be the best thing for you to do uh, going forward. So have a look below at the information below and thanks very much, Mal, for coming in. Appreciate